Hello and welcome back to another episode of Dawn of Man. Now, in the last episode, we actually went on over to the Bronze Age and we got ourselves uh, sword making. Uh, bronze smelting is already done. This is good. Uh, sword making. And uh, that means we have a whole bunch of tools that we can... Act oh, shoot. My summon people don't have any clothing. Um, but we still have a couple more copper things to build before we can we can actually move on to the uh, to the Bronze Age. Like we have... I think it was picks. Yeah, one more pick to go. And I think sickles, we got enough. I, I need to get more sickles. Because right now we have 27 sickles, which is great, but it does not... Uh, I would like to have uh, like 75% of my population actually have a sickle. So let's go to manage. Let's go to limits. Limits, there we go. There we go. And let's set, let's set it to, let's set to 100% of population. Hmm... Do I want more? I think I... No, I think 100 will be perfectly fine. We got another point there. Beautiful. So did we get all the copper tools now? 10 copper knives. Good. 10 copper axes. Good. 10 co 22 copper spears. Good. 10 copper picks. Good. And 16 copper sickles. Excellent. I want I want more sickles, though. But we have everything we need. A whole bunch more... Sp oh, shoot. So my people don't have any clothing. Uh, we only have 47 linen outfits. And that's mainly the reason is because they haven't bloody hell harvested this stuff yet. Uh, it's summer right now, so we have to wait one more season before they start actually uh, harvesting this. Hopefully, we do have a we we had did we not have a a bit of linen last time around? I think I um maybe we I, I don't think we did. <laughs> All right. Anyways, we'll have to see what we can do. All right. Let's see what else we can get points for. We need to get. We need to get points, 62 points, to be able to move to the Iron Age. Uh, we currently have 23. Oh, I just thought 22. Uh, 23 points. So we need to get some more to progress. Uh, the best way to do that, of course, is to make tools. Uh, bronze tools. Um, do we not, not... I thought we... No, we didn't, we didn't start the bronze making process just yet. I have blocked all the bronze production in my um, pit furnaces because they currently consume quite a lot of uh, of copper. We don't have like that much. We have a lot of charcoal, yes. We have a bit of tin. We have a, a reasonable... Yeah, it's, it's, it's a mediocre amount of copper. <laughs> we have a lot of ingots, right? So copper ingots is fine. But we don't have much copper ore. And we need copper ore to be able to make bronze. So right now, we can only make uh, two bronze ingots because we only have like four pieces of copper so we need more copper best way to do that of course to get copper is to buy it from traders that come by we do have a mine but it isn't frequented very often this is a tin ore mine this is the uh, copper mine there is there is some copper here waiting copper ore and we still have like 33 copper left before this mine is uh, is empty um, I'm just gonna just make them actually work a little bit more I don't want to mm. so my people don't have like I know I need more light clothing I know I know I know you don't have to warn me every single time all right now um, we just need them to come and get copper this is iron we can't really mine iron yet because we don't have the technology uh, but we'll get to that eventually so I want to have more traders come in and we'll buy all of their copper ore and give it to the people like a bunch of robin hood but uh, for now i think the best thing we can do is make more copper tools so this is already done so we have a whole bunch of copper knives so let's just set this back to normal uh we also have a couple more knives here so let's put the normal i think we got enough knives and we have 12 knives at the moment um which is i think enough i'm not sure Man, i'm not getting the warning anymore of the knives which is good so I'm happy with that. Just kind of wondering, look, look how many cows we have. <laughs> uh, it's a cow vision. All right, so um, they need to harvest all this stuff. Let's speed it up a bit and make sure that they actually harvest all this. Beautiful beans. This field's already gone. So they, they do have enough time, enough people to harvest all this beautiful stuff. Let's see if they have enough to harvest all four uh, crop fields for wheat and also uh, the two crop fields of flax. I don't think they will 
but I am curious what, the, what they'll do. Will they start with the flax and then move over to the fields, or will they start with the fields and then f completely forget about the flax, which done, they've done before? I really hope that they, they harvest some flax, because I need more clothing. Right now, I have more wool than I have uh, linen, and that's a bit of a problem, because I can't, I can't expect my people to walk around in wool in this temperature. Look, I mean, look at the temperature. It's probably 26 degrees Celsius. It's way too warm. But um, we'll see what happens. So my people don't have a lot of clothing. I know, I know, I know. Do we have uh, uh, any traders coming in? I, I'm just going to... Let's just look at the numbers, shall we? We have 52 population, which is great. We have, of the 10 females, 4 are pregnant. We have 12 young female children, which is good. That's gonna, that's gonna, they're going to grow up pretty fast. And we're going to have a bunch of, uh, of pregnant women. Uh, and I want them to reproduce. I want that population to grow fast. The welfare is pretty high at 90%. Prestige is still stuck below 400. I would like to get that above 400, but 366 is quite good for this village. It will grow as we get more population, but only by one each. And I need like 40 prestige to get that number up to a reasonable, to, to 400 or above 400. So what can I do to increase the prestige? Now, for spirituality and stuff, right? the stone circles is best. Because that's going to give you a whole bunch of uh, of of of, uh, of prestige, right? We already have a, a dolmen over here that gave us uh, twenty prestige, and I think that the um, stone circle gives you like sixty prestige. I'm not quite sure. So what we did was we built. Oh, I built. What are you doing over here, lady? Oh, this is a kid. It's a little boy collecting fruit. So we built a a well somewhere over here. I'm uh, not quite sure where the... Oh, there it is. There's the well. And we are building another one uh, a little bit further up. Yeah, here. There's some water in there. And they can actually actively come here and drink some water um, before they go on over to here, which is where all the stone circles are, right? So they don't have to go very far to get water. There's, there's also water at the, in the, at, the, at the bank here where they can get. But on the way home... There's also water they can get to. And they can go from well to well back home again. So that shouldn't be a problem. So let's go ahead and set this megalith for um, mining. Uh, so we can get that. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. I think we should just start all of these up for mining and see if my population can actually get this done without dying. So beautiful, we have a whole bunch of those. And I can also, if I can get uh, one more rolling megalith, I get another point, which is good. So uh, that's good. One, one, two, three, four, five, six. We have one, two, three, four, five more left over over here. I'm, I don't think that we're going to go and collect these ones as well. I'm just happy we have six. Oh, we have another one over here. Hmm. So we have another six. So technically speaking, we can make two stone circles if we wanted to. <laughs> not saying that I want to, but it is a possibility, right? We don't have any threats in this, this region here. Uh, and we have a lot of water that we can drink, so we don't have a problem with that. It's just, it's just, it's mostly food, right? Food is the main issue. There's no stone circles over on this side of the river. So they're all on that side, which makes it, I don't know why that is. We have, that's a mine shaft. Where are you going? You are... Wandering around. You seem to be wandering around a lot, pr pretty far from the village. Uh, so anyways, let's, get, let's speed up a bit. I want them to continue making more spears. I only have 10 spears at the moment. I only have 15 bows. I need more bows so I can trade. If I can get uh, somebody to actually actively come in here into the workshop and make more bows, which would be great. We have... Four dry skin, which is good. That should be enough to get me another... Because it's, it's, it's one dry skin and one stick for one. So we can get four, four bows, which is good. So we'll get that made. New cattle born. Beautiful. Some more cattle. Excellent. Uh, we already have... I think it was... Yeah, so it's 20 cows right now. And I can imagine that's going to expand even further <laughs> later on. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right. All right. 
So we just need to get this all harvested. We are now in fall. That means they actually have the ability to harvest all of this flax. It's going to give them a ton of clothing. And that's only if they actually... We have a trader. Period. Beautiful, beautiful. We, uh, do we have anything to trade? What do you have? You have... Oh, eight copper. I'm taking all your copper. And your one single tin ore. Oh, you have linen as well? I'm taking linen. I'm taking your linen. Uh, wool cloth. I don't need that. So 108... I'm going to give you all this cheese that I don't like, because it's green. And I am going to give you... What else can I give you? Uh, sheep? I don't want to give you the sheep. I, I, I've, I've spent so much time cultivating these sheep, I want to keep them. I can give you some of my spears. There we go. Beautiful. That's perfect. 108, 108. Excellent. Take that. Come back again later. You have a beautiful horse. Can I buy your horse? So that's a nice looking horse. Oh, and that's not. It's an old male. <laughs> Never mind. Never going to survive. Never going to reproduce. Let's see if they're going to harvest. If they're going to harvest the um, the flax. I do have nine linen, which is good. That means we can definitely make a couple of outfits. Uh, so right now, for one linen outfit, we can make uh, from one sorry one linen uh, cloth. We can make two outfits. And one linen cloth just makes one linen. So basically we get eight linen cloth. Oh, sorry. And that means we can... Uh, sorry, nine linen cloth. That means we can get 18 outfits from that. Which is exactly what we need. Oh, we need 10. But 18 is better. Megalith 10. We got another bonus point. Beautiful. So... Wait, do we just... Do we just get a point for the megalith? What? <laughs> How do we get a point for the megalith? What is that? doesn't make any sense. I mean, I didn't make anything with those megaliths. Oh, there we go. There's the megaliths. 10 megaliths. We had 10 megaliths, we get a point. Beautiful. And the next one is 100 megaliths? D is there ever been a map with 100 megaliths? I'm going to have to check if that's if that's the case. All right. They're actually coming here to harvest the, 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 the flax. Which is great. We have one crop over there of grain. It's also been harvested. Which means, which means that we can definitely get some more bread on the table. Uh, but the flax is good. So we got 13 flax, 13 linen coming in. I need a bit more than that. I want to have enough linen to sell. Uh, and to also prepare for uh, future expansion of the village. Because I think that we are currently... Sitting on, yeah, we have 55 pers uh, people and we have capacity of 68. Which means we have space for 13 more. So we're going to have to start looking into building more of these huts. Because uh, as soon as we start growing faster, because, um, well, let me just show you. These are a lot of children. So once they grow old, um, half of them are going to have uh, children. That means we're, gonna, we're going to have to uh, get them some, somewhere to, to live. <laughs> Otherwise, they're going to be walking around homeless. And that's, that's not good for my, uh, my overall welfare. So we're definitely going to change that. To do that, of course, we have to build more of these little huts. And that's not going to be a big deal. We have we have a ton of mud. We have some straw. Not a lot, but it's still enough to build. And we're getting... Oh, shoot, there goes the season. So we managed to get 22 linen. We had 9. So I'm pretty happy with that. That's pretty good. I mean, it's not the entire field. We had way more flax in these two fields than just the 13 that we actually managed to harvest. But this should give them a little bit of time to make some more linen outfits. We are now at 51. So that's it's going by pretty fast. It's going, it's going for you pretty fast. So that's good. We're going we're to get a lot of outfits. Everybody's going to be happy. And this uh, welfare is going to go back to 90%, 99% hopefully. If we can get the grouches like this guy uh, to actually increase his morale. Because right now he's, uh, he's, a bit, he's a bit unhappy. Now, the lucky thing about these huts is that we also get prestige, two prestige, per hut, as a matter of fact. So, if we build a bunch of huts, we maybe will be able to get to 380, 70, 80. I mean, if we get one more hut, we get to 370. So, let's go ahead and build a, um, a stables. Do we want more stables? I don't really want more stables. Stables do give you two prestige. But they, they require way more resources to build. So I'm not really, I'm not keen on building more stables. Uh, granaries, let's see, these guys, these guys, these cheese makers don't give you any, any prestige. I think it's just the, yeah, so this, the, the granary gives us two prestige. This thing doesn't give us anything. It does seem to, 
Missiles will last one and a half times longer when stored in the structure. Okay, that's good. 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 Un one and a half is pretty good. We also have a bit of straw. So I think I'll, I'll just start another hovel cluster over here. So let's go ahead and put down a couple of houses. And we have a bunch of sticks. We have a bunch of logs. So this shouldn't take forever to, to build. Let's go ahead and put two down. And let's get another one built right next to this one. Boom. And then do, 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 like so. All right, so let's, let's put it right around there. Trader has wrapped. Okay, excellent. Now I need um, production. I, I want to fire a hearth in between these huts, like right there. Excellent. So we got a couple more houses coming. And they'll be, uh, we'll have, because one of these houses can house uh, four people. So we have three huts built. So we can house 12 more. Which means our population is going to be able to expand, which is great. Because right now we have, uh, we, have, we, have we have only got space for 13, so it's, it's going to be, uh, it's going to give us a little bit more space and more prestige. At least six more points, which is good. Trader is right. Let's talk to the trader. Let's see what they have, if they have any more copper. Do you have any copper? No, you do not. You do have tin, but I don't really need that much more tin. I already have a whole bunch of tin. I need copper so I can make more bronze. Uh, right now I have only five copper ore. The copper that we bought has been turned into copper ingots, which is currently being turned into a whole bunch of knives. We have 28 knives, which is great. But um, I'm thinking maybe we need to just stop making knives and start making bronze stuff instead. So I want to stop the copper and start the, the, the bronze. Like so. Um, let's stop that. Boom. Excellent. Make more bronze. Same for you. Make bronze. And for you, make bronze. No more copper. Use all the copper you want, you have, and stuff like that for, um, for bronze instead. Excellent. Because it's, it's going to take a lot of copper to do this. We're going to need a lot of bronze. Uh, but no problem. As soon as we move on to the Iron Age, uh, we won't need to, d uh, to create an alloy anymore. And then we can just usually pure the... We can use purely the, uh, the, the material from the iron ore mines to make, them, make the tools. Instead of having to use a secondary mineral. So that's pretty good. Metallurgy. Let's see. Do we need to build some more buildings? We need to build another five watchtowers to get another point. I didn't think we needed like five more watchtowers, but okay. So I currently have a watchtower, two, three, four, five watchtowers there. I'm thinking we should probably put a watchtower over here. I don't want to build a wall, right? I just want the watchtowers, just so they can see over the uh, over the landscape. It would be cool to put one more, one watchtower there <laughs> on that hill. Let's put another watchtower right here by the river, so they can uh, observe the uh, the wildlife. <laughs> let's put a watchtower here in the in the woods and um, let's put another watchtower here by this side of the river so they can also observe the river crossings of these animals uh, it, it will push back the animals a bit further right uh, because animals don't like coming coming closer to these towers so that will push the animals a bit further away which is great that means we have a little bit more oh, actually I do need more meat I do need meat so let's see what we can hunt. Uh, we do have a little elephant over there. Let's go and hunt a young elephant to death. Oh, actually, this person is going to go and get some tin. Good, good, good. We could use that. I, I would like to get some more copper, though. And we have somebody over here walking the storage hut. All right. We have another little child over here going to well. We're going to get something to drink, of course. This puppy over here. Megalith is ready to go. These are also all ready to go. How much leather do we have? We have three leather and uh, six megaliths. Okay. Um, we should be able to start this up for transport. Uh, megalith panel. We got six of them available. Beautiful. Dolman and men here. No, I need. Because the thing is, I can make like five more men here with these six stones. Well, I need to use five, but I can make another five, uh, four men here and get a point. Or I can make a stone circle and get three points, right? If I make um, two more dolmen using these six stones, I can get, I can get uh, another two points. 
show so, so da, 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 da. making the men here doesn't make any sense because that this is just a waste of, of stones just to make five men hairs. Um, I can make the dolman. It will give me that two points I need, right? I, I, I don't need, but I, I can get that. And it will give me uh, 20 prestige per dolman and also five body, uh, 10 bodies that I can bury here. Max bodies are being buried here is 10. Right now, this dolman over here has nine bodies left capacity and there's only one person buried here. Bit of a shame, but okay. Um, that person is there. If I build two more dolmen, I get 40 prestige. If I was to build the stone circle, I get 60 prestige, right? I think. I'm not quite sure. I'm not entirely 100% sure how many um, how many prestige I get for for a stone circle. And I also don't seem to have the space to put a stone... I can put a stone circle here, but it's, it's, it's a long distance to drag these stones. Maybe we can put a stone circle here. Let's see if it fits. So, spiritual rattle, stone circle. So, okay, we can only put it right there. It's a bit on top of the mountain, isn't it? So can we put it? Can we put it up here? <laughs> uh, I don't think it wants to go there. You know, just this is the only pot spot where I think I can put it. If I wanted to put up the mountain and stuff, I would have to remove all the trees first because it doesn't want me to build with a tree in the way. So let's put it here. Boom, boom, shakalaka. Excellent. That's going to give us our stone circle. It will give us a prestige. I am not entirely sure. I think it's 60 prestige. Or it might be 100. I'm uh, not entirely 100% sure. But I think it's 60. I think it's 60. Alright, we'll get that built. With those stone circles. Uh, stone men here is over there. They should be able to drag it all the way over here without uh, much effort. Well, it's, it's a lot of effort, but lot, without dying. That's what it's called. That, without dying. Right. All right, everybody needs to uh, needs to plant all this stuff. We have plenty of food. We got lots of fish, lots of vegetables, lots of grain, so we can make more bread. I don't think we will have trouble eating. We also have a whole bunch of cheese, right? So I think that we'll have a lot of uh, vegetables and stuff, and capable of feeding the village. So that's not a problem. We also have two bronze, which means we can get started on making some more bronze tools. I want to break. I want to make. I'm oh, sorry. I want to break. <laughs> I want to make a um, couple of. Stone, I mean bronze swords. I think that would be a good idea to start with, right? Uh, if we make 10 bronze, we can get a point. Looking at all these things, we're so close to some of these points. Like a couple of berries and then we get a point from that. Um, we already have 3,000 water down. <laughs> A uh, couple more raw skin, give us another point. A couple more bones, give us another point. Okay, so we just need to go hunting a little bit, right? And make some more bread and some more flour. But if I make... Oh, also bows. Nice. Um, if I... Oh, leather outfits. We need 50 more, give us a point. Ah, it's, it's too much. It's too much. I'm not going to do that. So let's see. We need to make bronze swords, bronze spears, bronze knives, bronze axes, bronze picks, and bronze sickles. If I make a couple of bronze sickles, um, new human to join the settlement. Okay, excellent. Where are you? This human is apparently invisible. <laughs> Where? Why are we all out here? Oh, we must have killed something. Because the meat level also went up pretty fast. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, anyways, let's get back to this. Oh, survive the winter plus one knowledge point. Excellent. So our population went up to 56. And we have capacity for 24 more people. Beautiful. These houses have been built. And our prestige must have gone up, right? Yeah, we're at 376. Ah, oh, gorgeous. Oh, welfare is up to 92. Beautiful. We have 56 linen outfits and 56 people. So we can clothe everybody. I'm happy with that. Let's go and select uh, one of these huts to start making no longer copper tools. No more copper tools for you. No more copper tools for you. Um, let's go ahead and make some bronze sickles. So we only have two bronze at the moment, so we can't really make much. Eh, so I'm kind of disappointed with that. But if we can make some more spears, let's just leave it at that. Okay, we'll make the knife there as well. We'll leave that there. Uh, workload's a bit high, 176%. But it's a-okay. We just need to get them to start uh, planting everything. Should be fine. 
Uh, meat's coming in through the gates, apparently. Look at that. Look at all that stuff that's coming in. We're going to have raw skins for days. And that's going to be... Oh, work goes too high. New cattle born and the trader has arrived. Excellent. Let's go talk to the trader. and see if they have some more copper for us to buy. Only 10? Oh, but they do have donkeys. Should we buy a couple of donkeys? I want to buy a couple of donkeys. All right, this is a female donkey and a male donkey. Currently, we only have two male donkeys. I would like to get a breeding pair. Uh, I will trade you... Should we trade you a couple of cows? Two female cows. 160, 160. I think that's fair. Right, so I get the donkeys, you get two cows. Beautiful. You take those cows, come back with more donkeys. Whoa, these cows are in a hurry to leave. Was it so bad living here? <laughs> uh, so mean. If we can get some more donkeys, if these donkeys can breed, right, we can get some more donkeys and we can then we can make some more carts. I want to have a breeding pair. Uh, once they once a donkey's on a cart, they don't usually breed anymore. And that is a problem. So if I if I make a cart right now, two more carts. I'll be able to use those cards, but I will not be able to have a breeding pair anymore. And that is not efficient, or not effective at least. That's why I bought them. I want them to breed. So hump. <laughs> Can't we command an animal to hump? But why are they all standing in the field over here? Go somewhere else, guys. Now they're hanging around the stables, because this is the um, closest place to what they need for shelter once it's winter and stuff but this not doesn't become winter so we can put another if we put another stable over here boom 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 let's see can i let's see can i turn you around let's put another stable over here i want them to spread out a little bit you know i don't want them all clustered together in one little spot that's how you get diseases so boom put you there cattle's been slaughtered all right don't kill all the cattle okay guys i mean we only have 18 left Right, but at least it gives us a bit more meat. It's good. Yeah. So the cows are not as uh, not as good at uh, meat production as the goats. They just simply reproduce like rabbits. And sheep has been slaughtered. No. Which one has been slaughtered? If it's if it's the oh, we have eight sheep, which is good. Cows been slaughtered. Okay. I'm 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 kind of concerned that we killed off all the breeding sheep. <laughs> Now we have a total of 17 cows, seven, 17 cows and 7 sheep, 6 females, 5 adults and 1 adult male. Okay, but luckily he's not old, so they didn't slaughter him yet. But we only have 1 male sheep. If that guy gets castrated or whatever, uh, we'll be in trouble. <laughs> like the sheep will die out. So we don't want that. Let's just make sure that this little ram over here survives oh shoot did they just kill him oh no okay. <laughs> they were actually rubbing him down got some wool off of it good stuff i was concerned there for a, sec for a second all right we got a bit of felch got a little bit diseased it's too bad but nothing i care about we already have quite a bit of vegetables and it is summer so that means that we can harvest some of these berries and stuff like which should be much better oh shoot another storm coming in that's not good Storms are not good. They always they always electrocute somebody. Somebody gets struck by lightning, and then they, they, these these people will be like rains out again. It's gonna r drop or lower my uh, my welfare a little bit. People don't like storms. Yeah, it's not that bad. But uh, it should be fine as long as nobody gets like killed. They can they, uh, they uh, we can lose a couple of cows and stuff, right? but I would not want to lose. A, a a person, a villager. That would, that would suck. Let's get these uh, bushes as well. These uh, pear trees, and let's look at. Um, did they actually get this this tree? Uh, this this thing here started yet? No, they haven't. Uh, wait. Megalith. Oh, prepare for transport. I need to prepare that for transport. I I, I didn't set the transport. <laughs> Uh, we still have enough leather. Yeah, we have enough leather. Let's go ahead and put you up for transport as well. And do we have enough sticks? We do not. So we need to get some more sticks. So I need to have somebody go and chop down some more trees. And I do see a, an area where we can chop down some trees. Over here. These trees are uh, encroaching once again. 
Not my pear tree, please. Oh, wrong button. This one and that, and then get you out of the way, and let's cut you all down. And on this side, this side's fine. This side's fine. Over here, we got a little problem. Let's go cut you down. And I want this tree line here back as well. Good stuff. All right, we are a little bit overworked. Whoa, that was loud. Traders arrive. Sheep born three. Oh, awesome. Did we get a male? Did we get a male? I want. I want to see if we got a male. Did we get a male sheep? That we were fine. If we didn't get a male sheep, we're gonna be in trouble. Uh, let's see. Manage more domesticated cow uh, animals. We got no males. Play out. Okay, we're gonna have a bit of a problem. If that male gets old, he won't be able to reproduce. Uh, brewing. Ooh. I. I. Um. Can Can I buy? No. I can't. I don't have. I don't have anything I can, I can trade with. I am I have a bunch of leather and linen outfits, or linen cloth, but that's not going to be enough to trade with. I can give him all my cows, but I don't really want to. Brewing is not that important. Goats, linen cloth. I don't want any more linen cloth. I want the beer. I'm going to take your beer. I'm going to buy your beer. I'm going to give you seven fishies. Give a man a fish. He'll eat for a day. We got ten beer. That means we got another point. Beautiful. New cattle born. Excellent. Keep them coming. I need them to start to just keep on reproducing. If I don't, if I if they don't, we'll have a bit of a problem. Sheep is also growing up. Beautiful. New cattle. Yes. I want the donkeys to reproduce as well. No, not the only female. <laughs> I think one of the male donkeys died, and then they uh, they took the female and put it on the cart. Now I I only have one female. If I remember correctly. Donkey. Yes, I got four donkeys, one female, three males. And they 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 put the donkey on the cart. Can I get the donkey on off the cart? Can I can I take the cart off the donkey? <laughs> so if I can like can I like unselect you? Alright, there we go. Let's click you back on again. Don't you dare come back. I need you to get me babies. Go make babies. Alright, this card is now available for a donkey, but uh, click to change selected, select to change globally. Alright, so I want, I want one of the male donkeys to get on that, that, yeah, here we go. This one's coming along, going to cart, excellent. So the female's coming back, right, wandering around, which is good, because I need her to just, like, have some free time, go to a bar, pick somebody up, you know, and get, get knocked up. Um, I don't really... I, I have more males than I have females. So I want the male donkey to go after the carts and the females to just have fun. <coughs> Excellent. Alright, so the weather is summer. It's nice and warm. Beautiful. Uh, we do have a, a bunch of sick bitter felch, which is not that great. But we'll have to deal with that. Uh, nothing we can do about that for now. Yeah, everything else seems to be going quite well. See, do we have? Did somebody come over here and actively work on this thing? Is this thing coming along? Oh yeah, they did bring something. They brought got a log. They brought a single log. Need to and some more. And they also brought some leather. One, two leather. So there's two leather, not no logs yet. So three logs and three leather to make a rolling megalith. Uh, so this is coming along nicely. I think it's coming along good. Yeah, we'll have a uh, um, a stone circle uh, in no time. Just need to wait till this all these trees are cut down though. Can you got no this is a pear tree, I want to keep that. This is a beech tree, definitely want to cut that down. Ah, sticks are going up. Beautiful. So now we also have a whole bunch of dry skins, which means we can make a whole bunch more um, bows. Alright, put down a whole jumble of bows. And that's what we need to use to trade with. I mean, we can trade with the spears. We have 11 spears now. Uh, it's also quite nice. Oh, shoot. Cattle destructed. 13 cows of disease? Why, game, why are you so mean to me? <laughs> that's just mean. I mean, I only have, I only, ha I have 20 cows, right? And then they, more than half of them got a disease. That's just, that's just really mean. No, I just hope that they actually survive. 
Shoot, I'm only going to have seven of them that are actually going to survive. I mean, it's going to be a, a big chunk of meat that's just going to drop in my lap for if they all die. But this is ridiculous. This one's almost dead. It's not going to survive. It's not going to survive at all. It's a perfectly healthy female, and it's going to be dead in a second. Blip. <laughs> Four already died. Holy ships. That's a lot of cows. All died in one go. But the rest of them... Uh, I only lost four. The rest of them are all no longer diseased. I, I'm kind of wondering why the game did that. Did that. It's, it's, it's kind of useless. I mean, 13 got sick. And now, them are, are, now a lot of them are unhealthy. So the health is going back up again, which is good. Ooh, this one, young male, almost died. Shoot. I need the males as well. Alright, so it's back up to... Uh, Wait, did we not plant any flax? We didn't plant any flax! Bloody hell, so this, we don't have any linen. Traders arrived. Oh shoot. So they, didn't, they didn't harvest any linen. They didn't plant any. So that's, that's a bit of a pain. That's going to be a painful thing. Alright, let's see what they have, what she has. She has stone carving, which is great. No linen though, but wool outfits. Do I have any wool outfits? I don't think I have any wool. I do have wool. I can give you that. How much wool do I have? I have wool in the value of 85 uh, credits, right? 85 credit. I can buy some copper. Uh, do I want? I can buy some tin. I don't want a wool, wool cloth. Wool cloth I don't need. Uh, copper. I'll just buy the copper. Give me 30 of that. And I'll buy some tin. 66. And do I want more tannin? No, I don't. Do I want more meat? No, I don't. Do I want some more straw? I do not. I'm just going to go and reduce this to 65. Put that back to 62. Bloody hell. Okay, I'm going to give you a fish. Cool. All right, enjoy that. Make sure you eat the fish with something. Otherwise, your breath is going to smell fishy. All right, excellent. So we have uh, everything else has been processed. It's good. We have also have a whole bunch of cheese. Um, so we also have that to trade with, uh, which is beautiful. We also have 21 bows, so technically speaking, we should have enough material now to buy something, right? And we also have a seven copper, oh sorry, sorry, seven bronze, which means we can build some more sickle things. Let's see, how many sickle bronze sickles do we now have? We have one bronze sickle at the moment, and this, this person is making another one. Uh, so that means we have to build another seven. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. It gives me ten. I think, yeah, should be fine. And then uh, copper spears. We have five copper. So I want more copper spears. Yep, like that. And then here, I want to start working on ten bronze knives. Like that. Excellent. So we'll get that done eventually. It's going to take us a bunch of copper. But it should be okay. Uh, the sickles are way more important. That means we actually have enough people to actually harvest something here. New animal born, cattle. Uh, it's popular. It's going back up. The cows are going back up again. Great. Uh, my sheep are staying steady. Donkeys haven't increased yet. My population is 61. We have space for 19 more. And I think that we'll probably have to build some more houses in the next episode. Make sure that we have uh, some more houses over here or yeah, over like over here, right? Some more houses over here. That's a possibility. Let's expand the village. Let's take over this entire region. Why not? Get rid of the jungle. Jungle's bad. And we have one tower here built. Beautiful. Rolling megalith. Another point. Yes, we are on 30. That means we are not halfway yet there. <laughs> we do have enough points to buy one of these things, which I don't want to. If I wanted to buy anything, I would have to. I would want to buy the uh, brewing. Brewing is the one that actually gives you the most benefit because it increases <coughs> your welfare, makes everybody nice and happy. And it speeds up recovery for, um, for for people that are just incredibly unhappy. Like this lady, for instance, here. She's probably got a hole in her shoe or something or in her dress. And she's incredibly unhappy. And that's why she's praying to her skull gods. And wanting to have that hole removed. Right? But a beer would, would change that, that frown into a smile in like five seconds. It just, it just goes much faster. No! Why game? Why are you so mean to me? 
Now we have two. Okay, let's see. Two donkeys are sick. Let's see. That one is sick. And you are sick. Bloody hell. My only female is also sick. You better survive, lady. You have 130 health. New cattle, uh, cattle porn. Okay. Oh, I really hope this this donkey survives. Please, please let her survive. Please let her survive. I, I would be rather <laughs> disappointed if she doesn't. It took me such a long time to get a donkey. Sheepies born. Beautiful. More sheepies are good. <coughs> trader has arrived. Uh, I'm going to go to the, talk to the trader. Donkey, you better stay alive until I get back. Wait, you have more donkeys. Ooh, uh, horse domestication and some more donkeys. Two more females. I'm going to buy the two females. 168 in coin. Your commission is low. Why is this so much more expensive than the last time? Uh, you don't have any copper, which is a bit of a pain. You also have beer. I can give you cheese. I can give you a ton of cheese. There you go. You're going to be walking around with over a... Well, like 43, 45... Cheese wheels. Uh, 153 worth of cheese. Excellent. And I can give you... What else can I give you? Uh, bone. I can give you bone. Like that. And um, how much does beer cost? Oh, way too much. This is this is five. Hmm. Can, I, can I give you something else that's worth something to you? I can give you a bow. 180... Yeah, let's, let's buy some more... Um, beer. I feel beer is important. All right, we got five beer, two donkeys. Excellent. <laughs> so if that one donkey over there dies from um, from sadness, like in Star Wars, yeah, Princess Leia. I'm gonna call you Princess Leia. Can I change your name? If you die from sadness from a broken heart, <laughs> I'm gonna be very very disappointed. But at least we now we have a second pair of donkeys female donkeys so this one dying won't be that much of a problem it will give us a bunch more meat right but we have a replacement for Leia Princess Leia you can die please don't please survive please survive she won't she won't survive though nope she's gonna be dead <laughs> uh, donkey has died of disease the other one survived probably where's the male Where's the other? We had, we had two donkeys that had disease. That donkey died. We had another donkey somewhere else with a cart, right? That did survive. Hmm. I don't know where that donkey went. I don't know where that donkey went. So we'll need to just make sure that Princess Leia here is taken apart and not... Uh, her sacrifice isn't uh, in vain. I don't know where the other donkey went. I mean, he was pulling a cart, right? Yeah, it must have been oh, some. Where is this donkey? Cart and donkey. Where are you going? Oh, there's the cart. Donkey is there. Wait, didn't he? Did, oh. He's alive and his health is good. I thought he was sick. Wasn't he sick? Huh. Wait, how many carts do we have? We, uh, we have two carts, so maybe this is the one cart that, that didn't get sick. Let's see if we can find the second cart. So, megalith over here is being pulled. Beautiful. We have another megalith over here almost ready to be... Yeah, build progress is, is almost done. And then we can start pulling this one as well. It would be great. And then we can move these megalith over to the stone circle. But I don't see the second cart. <clears throat> I don't know where the second cart is. Huh. Alright, well that's okay, I guess. Let's just go to manage. Let's check out my domestic animal population. We have five uh, donkeys, uh, two females and three males. And of course, one of those males was sick, but he apparently survived. It's good. Um, so hopefully these two males, w uh, two females, will increase the chances of having another little donkey walking around amongst us, which would be great. Alright, um, 
I think everything is okay. We'll just need to wait until the stone circle over here is done building. It's going to take us a little while because they're going to have to drag all these things from all the way over there. But I, I don't see any dangers. So I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. We don't have to worry about people dying on the way with one of those rocks. Right? So it's all good. All right. That's it for this episode. I think we're doing good. Population is up to 60, which is great. Which means everything is going quite well. We have five more pregnant females. Uh, which means the population can grow a bit more further. And we have space for 20 more. Um, so I can... I think that we need a couple more episodes and then we'll, we'll probably hit the 100. Which is great. Because, let's see, if we... If I look at the the point score, if we get a 75, we get three points. And, of course, once we hit, like, over 100, 120, we get some more points from that. Which is good. And uh, we, we're well on our way to the Iron Age. Uh, I'm 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 pretty confident we'll survive. <laughs> now with the population way over this, we had way lower numbers than that. Anyways, uh, that's it for now. If you enjoyed the episode, leave a like. If you didn't, leave a dislike. It's fine, and I will see you guys in the next one. Have a great evening. Bye bye.